Fishy friends, welcome here on another episode at Bart's Fish Tales and today it's lobster time. We're going to make a lobster salad with basil mayonnaise. Okay, within this recipe we have a few stages and of course the first one is to cook the lobster. If you want to know how to cook a lobster in a humane way, which is really, really important, click the link right here. Okay, next step, we're going to use some slowly cooked tomatoes within the salad. So I have preheated the oven on 100, 130 degrees Celsius. Drizzle of olive oil, pepper, bit of salt. Okay, so then we place tomatoes on the tray. And let's say I'm using like two, three tomatoes per person. Okay, so I peel the garlic cloves, cut them in half, and add them on the tray. A bit extra olive oil on top. And then we're going to slowly cook them in the oven during maybe 10, 12 minutes. Here we go. Okay, so the next step, we're going to make the basil mayonnaise. I've got here some boiling water. Uh, to avoid bitterness, I'm going to blanch uh, the basil leaves, maybe only for 15, 20 seconds, but it gives just a bit softer flavor to the mayonnaise. Okay, we're going to blanch the basil, and actually this is Bram, and we are shooting for Dutch public te television, one today, één vandaag. Okay, so we blanch the basil shortly. We take them out, so cool them down, and now I drain them, and I dry them on a piece of kitchen paper. Creme fresh. Then we have half a tablespoon of Mayonnaise, the basil. Add a bit of Parmesan cheese, maybe 25 grams. Bit of pepper. And some salt. Not too much because the Parmesan cheese is quite salty already. And a splash of white wine. Give it a taste, nice and smooth. Delicious. Okay, so we made the mayonnaise. Uh, we will make an extra dressing, but first I will take out the tomatoes. Actually, what we did with the tomatoes is soften them a bit in, in texture and give them extra flavor with the salt and pepper, garlic, olive oil. So this will be a part of the salad. And I um, reduce the temperature of the tomatoes because you want to have it like all more or less in, on the same temperature. So room temperature. So now I'm going to start making the dressing for the salad. A bowl. Around three tablespoons of sunflower oil. It's around two teaspoons of white wine vinegar. So I put this aside. Then I've got a shallot. I'm using maybe half a shallot. Bit of pepper, bit of salt, give it a little mix, and then we add the shallot. Mix it well. Okay, set this aside too. Then we have a fennel. We're only using a little, little bit of the fennel. Take off the end part, and now I've got a mandolin. And I just have maybe like one, two, three, four. This is all we use for the salad. So, I've got the dressing. I have a bit of lettuce. I mix the lettuce with the dressing. And I immediately have it on my plate right here. So just a bit of the fennel. Then, tomatoes. Okay, so we have the lobster. And what I do, the beautiful flavored olive oil on the tray of the tomatoes, I'm going to polish the lobster. And it has a bit of the red color out of the tomatoes. It does really well and you make the lobster a bit more shiny, looks great, and it tastes beautiful. Some parsley leaves, black pepper, a bit of mold and sea salt, and then the basil mayonnaise. It's time for a taste. Wow, full of flavor, the delicious flavor taste of the lobster, the hero of today. But it really goes well with this salad, with the basil, uh, the mayonnaise, including the parmesan. This touch, this salty touch of the cheese is going really well. Of course, uh, the dressing with it and the tomatoes. And it's easy to make, it's quick to make, it's for a festive occasion. Uh, but also you could make the same dish actually with prawns, with shrimp, 
uh, langoustines uh, crepe. All goes well with this recipes. recipe. If you have any questions, any comments, leave them down in the box below. Please subscribe to our channel and see you soon. Bye bye.